Today, I'm going to show you how to run Keycloak from a Docker container. Keycloak is an open source identity and access management framework that allows us to add authentication to applications and secure services with minimum effort. So instead of you writing your own logic for authenticating users and authorizing them, you know, giving them permissions and roles and all that, you can just use Keycloak and then customize it to your needs. So here we have our empty Docker Compose YAML file, and this is where we'll be setting the configurations for the Keycloak Docker container and uh, Keycloak Postgres uh, Docker container. So we'll start off by defining uh, our services. So our services will include the Keycloak. We'll just give it a random name. In this case, we we'll just call it Keycloak Demo. And this is what we'll have the config for the Keycloak app itself. And then Keycloak app needs to store its data in a database. So in this case, we'll have a Postgres uh, Keycloak demo service. Now in the Keycloak demo service, we want to add several things. First of all, I want to add an image, which will come from key.io. That's Q-U-A-Y.io. That is where the Keycloak uh, images are stored in that repository. And here I'm using version 18.0.0. Next, I want to define the command that will run when uh, that will start Keycloak when it runs. So in this case, we're using the command start dev, and this is a Keycloak specific command. Uh, I, I didn't make this up. If you go to the Keycloak website, this is what they use to start uh, the Docker containers uh, on the dev environment. If it was production, it would just be like start, but since it's just a demo, I'm just using the dev environment. Next, we need to define some environment variables. And so in this case, uh, some of the variables we want are the KCDB, which is the type of database we're going to be using. In this case, it's a Postgres, Postgres database. Next, we'll be defining the, um, the host, which is KC underscore DB underscore URL underscore host. In this case, I'll just give it um, the name of this database because we're in the Docker world, we're running Docker containers, which run our services. We will not define this as localhost because localhost means something different inside a Docker container. So we'll define this as the service, which is, uh, we'll define later on, which is the Postgres Keycloak demo. So that's the host, um, that's the DB host that the Keycloak app will connect to. Next, we need to define the database uh, name. And the variable for that is kcdb uh, url, I believe, database. In this case, we just give it a random name. In this case, it's a keycloak. Next, we define the password. Again, uh, kcdb uh, uh, um, password. So we'll just call it. Uh, password. This is just a simple password. And of course, if you're doing this in real life, you probably wouldn't want to have your password in this file. Maybe have it as an, as an environment variable elsewhere and then load it up through the environment variable. So, but I'm just doing, doing this for simplicity's sake. Then we need to find the user, kcdb, uh, username. And the username here, I'll just call it keycloak again. And then kc db schema, which is a public schema. And then now we need to define some Keycloak specific uh, environment variables for the Keycloak console, because when we load up the app and go to like, uh, open the app in the browser, we'll present it with a login page. So we need to create an account where you can log in like the default account, the master admin account where you can log in and start creating you know, users, groups, roles, etc. cetera, Keycloak. So the environment variable for that is Keycloak admin. So I'll just call the admin. Uh, I'll give it the, the username will be admin. Then we have Keycloak admin password. And again, I'll just call it admin. So next we need to define the parts that Keycloak is going to run on. So what are the environments? Now we'll have a port section here. And our ports will be 
890. So this is an external port. So if I need to hit this in the browser, I'm going to do localhost colon 8890. So that will enable me to access this container from my browser externally. But internally in Docker, key cloak runs on port 8080. So 8890 maps to 8080. So we're done with that. And then this key cloak container depends on the database here, this database container, because when key cloak starts, it checks, it tries to connect to the database. And if it's not there, key cloak will not start. So we want to define here um, a dependency in this case. So it depends on this service and then the condition is that the service has to be healthy. And we will define what health means when we define the settings for Postgres key cloak demo in here. Okay, so now I've done it uh, depends on. And then the other final thing we need to do now is the network that this container is going to run on. So since we're running these are services, they need to run on the same network so they're able to identify each other. And so that like these things like the host name uh, when you use a service makes sense. Otherwise, if they're not on the same network and you define this on line seven, it's not going to know what this means. So we need to have them on the same network. So we'll define the network here. Let's call it uh, key cloak demo dev network. And we'll have this uh, same network defined for Postgres key cloak demo. And that's it. That's how we define the configs for the key cloak app.